Yeah, I'm going to be talking about something different, because I haven't really made DC and Marvel videos in a while since I've been making Star Wars videos. And, uh, I, last time I made one was probably not a Lego movie one, but actually talking about DC was probably, like, like early, I think early June. So, it, it's been a bit, but, uh, well, I, I, if you want to see more Marvel DC content, I would love to do it, because I love Marvel and DC. It's something that means a lot to me. And I'm going to be talking about this recent news that's been buzzing around. And uh, I feel like I couldn't hide it in. Because, like, this is about one of my favorite characters. This is um, Tim Drake, Robin. And uh, if you don't know, he's the third Robin. Who, who after Jason Todd's death, he, he would follow into want to be the new Robin. After Nightwing wouldn't want to be back as Robin. So he thought, hey, someone's got to be Robin. And make Batman not go brooding. And so there's this recent news about him being coming out as bisexual. And if you want proof, here it is. Here's the comic. If you want if you're watching this, you can pause it and read it this panel for yourself. But um I'm gonna express how I feel because I'm gonna first like I don't wanna get off topic, but I'm gonna talk about how I grew up with Tim Jake Robin. I like I I I never really knew the Robins like, different versions. I knew there was Nightwing and Robin. I wasn't really too familiar until I started getting older, and then I got more in the Batman lore. And so, uh, seeing this news, I'm, it's not, I'm not shocked. It's, I'm not against it at all. Like, anyone has rights for their sexuality. If you're gay, if you're bisexual, that is great for you. Everyone has rights for their sexuality. And I don't want to be controversial. I just want to express my opinions. And so, yeah, I grew up with Jim Drake when I was, like, playing Lego Batman, the video game. I would, like, always love playing as him with the yellow cape and always switching suits, the magnet suit, the aqua suit. It was really fun. And I would, like, I didn't understand why he was a little kid in the animated series. And what they did to him was very fascinating in the Return of the Joker movie. And I really like his comic book version. I would, like, go to the library. They used to have, like, this comic book section where, but the people got rid of it because they were, like, out of order or something. Or they were just too messy. And, like, yeah. Long story. But uh, I don't want to get off topic. And so I would just read Robin comics, and I really loved it. And so, in a recent Batman issue, Robin asks his, his boy out to a date. And so... Yeah, I I guess it's going to be further explored, but this doesn't change me about how I feel about the character, because I always loved Jim Drake, I s still will, he's still my favorite Robin, what always fascinated me about the Tim Drake character was that he would always, he would always want to be the confident one who's willing to do anything for others, like willing to help Batman, like not be so brooding ever since the second Robin's death, and uh, yeah, I just, like, I always loved him. I always, he was my, one of my go-to heroes with Batman. And, uh, so I honestly look forward to seeing how they explore the character more through sexuality. Sexuality does not change how I feel about the character. I don't think it really changes the story of the character. Like, what we grew up, we're still going to know who Tim Drake was for who he was. And so, yeah, I, if, if you read Batman comics, that's great. If you, if, like, I don't know how to, anything else to say, it's just, hmm. It's, I don't know why people want to suddenly talk about it. I can't tell if people are against it or not, but I heard that it was hinted that Tim was bisexual. I, I'm not really consistent with comic books because, like, it's hard to find them. I only read comics that are given to me, or I ha I used to have this app called Hoopla, but uh, I can't use it now because of library expiration, but, uh, yeah. I would love to, like, see videos, like, see where this story takes keeps going. Like, let's see, like, hmm, how this goes. And, like... I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. I feel like I was, but, like... So, yeah, like I said, I'm not against Robin being bisexual. I still love the character, as I said. Robin's date 
Robin has dated women before. He's dated Stephanie Brown. So to see him... The spoiler, who was... Yeah. And so now he's dating this person. I don't know who that is, but uh, it just shows who, well, who he's going to be dating after he came out as bisexual. So, um, yeah. So, um, give me your thoughts if you heard the news of Robin, Red Robin being bisexual. So, um, I got nothing else to say. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see you guys next time.